the Iran nuclear deal in nine graphics. And it's going around saying that the nuclear agreement between Iran and the United States, Britain, Russia, France, and China, and Germany puts tight restrictions on the nuclear program. And what they're saying here is that Trump has the chance to wound the deal and possibly kill it altogether because what they're saying is that Iran is complying with the enrichment agreement. What do you think about that there, Barry? Well, they are and they aren't. And let me tell you why I'm giving such a weird answer. When President Obama, uh, a few years ago, actually it's about three and a half, four years ago, announced the Iran nuclear deal, what he said in the Rose Garden speech was that he was proposing negotiations with Iran that would lead Iran away from nuclear weapons, away from nuclear power, and towards joining the civilized world. What he said was there would be inspections at any time with no notice everywhere in Iran so that international inspectors from the IAEA, which is uh, the agency of the UN that inspects nuclear weapons or for nuclear weapons, would be able to go anywhere, anytime, all the time. And that was supposed to be the deal, Jermaine. Mm -mm -mm. He sent Secretary Kerry over. They negotiated for months and months and months. The deal he brought back was horrible. And here's why it was horrible. And this is what nobody seems to want to talk about. There are certain sites within Iran that are not in the nuclear deal, Jermaine, that we, or the IAEA, or any agency exterior to Iran, is not allowed to ever, 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 ever inspect for nuclear weapons-grade uranium enrichment. That is, every place there's a nuclear weapon facility located on a military base, they will never be inspected, number mm -mm. one. That's, by the way, most of the centrifuges are on or near nuclear bases, so they've never been inspected. Number two, you're not allowed to inspect without an appointment. If the appointment is denied, you don't get in. Got it? Number three, because of their inability to inspect everywhere all the time, when Vox or these other very liberal left-wing uh, progressive groups say Iran is compliant, well, they kind of are, but they're still enriching uranium like crazy on other places we're not allowed to go look at. Mm -hmm. Imagine you got married, and you and your wife are saying your vows, and the minister says, will you be loyal to her? Will she be loyal to you? And you say, absolutely I will, from 9 to 5, Monday through Thursday. However, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and every evening I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> right? And, and if your wife said to you in a couple months, well, Jermaine, you've got like nine girlfriends on the side, and they're calling the house all the time, and I know it's going on, and you go, but honey, I'm not breaching my vows. I'm seeing them Friday night, or I'm seeing them on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the deal that I couldn't have sex with other girls at mm -hmm. night. Well, that's the Iran nuclear deal. So when Europe and China and Russia and Vox say Iran is compliant, well, they kind of are. But we all know, we all know that on the places we're not inspecting, they've got uranium being enriched like crazy. That's number one. Number two, and this is really important, Jermaine, under certain UN regulations that were passed by the UN around the same time and actually previous to the JCPOA, which is the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, which is the Iran nuclear deal, mm -hmm. they're not allowed to build ballistic missiles that can deliver nuclear weapons. Because you have to get a way, figure out a way to deliver the bomb. You don't mail it to someone, and FedEx doesn't deliver nuclear weapons, right? So you got to have a delivery system. They're not supposed to be building those ICBMs, but they've been building them like crazy. And when they get busted every few months by the UN, you know what they say? Well, we didn't plan to put a nuclear weapon on that missile, so we're not in non-compliance with missile research. Thirdly, they're supposed to stop exporting terror around the world, yeah. and they are horrible about that and terribly non-compliant, and the whole world knows it. 
So bottom line, Jermaine, they're sort of compliant with the deal, but the deal is so horrible, we don't want them in the deal. We don't want to be in the deal because it's worthless. Ask your wife, how would she like it if Jermaine goes out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night with his other girlfriends and says, but honey, I'm keeping my vows. <laughs> That's the non-nuclear deal. I'll be a dead man, let me tell you. I'll be a dead man. And let me add one thing okay. to it. Um, and, and I think you've got some, some video on this or graphics. Mm -hmm. um, last year, uh, the Mossad, which is the secret service of uh, Israel, I don't know how they pulled this off, got a bunch of their secret spy guys into Tehran. They found a warehouse that had, get this, tons, tons of material proving that the Iran... Uh, nuclear enhancement was going full speed ahead. The missile program was Absolutely. going full speed ahead. They weren't going to stop till they had nuclear bombs. And they smuggled it all out of Iran. And you Netanyahu, we're going to the next one. Yep. Yeah. Netanyahu took it to the UN, Germain, and showed the whole world what they're doing. And he showed Trump. So there's no doubt in anybody's mind, if they really want to look, that Iran has basically flipped off the world and is doing whatever they want after Obama gave them $150 billion to spend on terrorism. 